Hi everyone, welcome back to the Triathlon channel. So I'm a month into the training program that I purchased off Training Peaks. For those of you that have missed it, I've decided to buy a training program directly from Training Peaks. So I think I've gone with, well I say I think, I know I've gone with Phil Mosley's training program from Training Peaks. So basically what I've done is I bought a 24 week plan and, um, and that's instead of a coach. So like I said, I'm a month in and I'm gonna to talk to you about how I've come along this month and uh, the ups and downs of the training, what I've thought of the program so far and how I think it's gonna help me going forward. So we always start with um, the base phase first and then we're going to build. So I'm actually in the build phase now after completing the, the base phase. First week was, and in the previous videos you'll see, because I, I documented those, was the test week. So that was the very first week of the program, was just basically getting my threshold paces so that I could input them into training peaks. And I now know Garmin as well, because I, was, I had some issues with heart rate differences from training peaks to Garmin, reached out to people on Instagram, and got a load of help from them, and managed to update my Garmin so that it's all aligned with training peaks now. So. Started the program really well, and you'll see there now. I'm going to talk about the TTL fitness on Training Peaks for those of you that use Training Peaks. Now, I used to think that this was the the answer to everything in terms of your overall fitness. I watched a video when I very first got into triathlon, and I can't remember who it was, but basically what he said was, if you were get were to get up to a hundred on your fitness, you basically would do a sub 10 Ironman. And there was a whole sort of video on how we worked that out and, and what it all meant. But what I've realized over the years was I was always chasing that magic 100 and I never ever got to it. And I, I see other people, they get to it quite easily. But then what I've done is I've watched a lot of other videos since then and m most recently, and. If you follow Joe Skipper, he mentioned it as well. And that's sort of where it really hits home was, you can manipulate that number. So it really doesn't mean anything. However, what it does mean for me and what I use it for is, it's a good gauge to see that my fitness is improving, but really what I watch on there is my fatigue and my form. So you'll see there you've got your fitness, fatigue and form. Now for me, I really focus on the form and fatigue because Ultimately, I don't want to be overtraining and, and cause an injury. So that's what I, I monitor. But it's also nice to see that the fitness is going up. So the first week, it wasn't a massive week. It was just test week. Completed that. I was surprised with some of the results. Um, not so surprised with, some, with the others. I really found the FTP on the bike difficult. Uh, I dropped, not majorly, but enough to sort of give myself a kick up the ass that I need to get back to training. Um, the run, it was okay. And I know I'll get back to that quite quickly. I already feel like I'm there. So I know I've got a, another. So going into week two, I had just over 10 hours of training planned. I completed 10 hours 31. So I went seven minutes over what was planned. But for me, that was really good. And they were all green. The third week um, I, I think I had a bug or something I wasn't well anyway and I missed quite a few workouts now I wasn't too worried about this and again if you you recently started out in triathlon and you've got a coach or you've got a program or you're just training yourself and making it up as you go don't worry too much about trying to catch up those sessions it's a mistake that I made early on in maybe my first year, even going into probably my second year of triathlon. And I was always trying to play catch up and make up for those sessions, which ultimately just led to injury. So it happens, you will miss some, some sessions due to work commitments, family commitments, or just sickness. So don't beat yourself up too much on them. And that's something it's taken me a long time to learn. And I'll be honest, I still struggle with it now. And I feel like I, I want to do a bit more to try and catch up. But just trust in the program and in your own abilities and consistency is what's really going to drive the difference. So then going into the following, it was a recovery week, which was quite nice because coming off um, being sick into a recovery week helped. It just meant 
it was there was six hours of training i did seven so i did a few extra but there was more strength work rather than sort of any extra runs or bikes or swims i just did a bit more gym work but that was nice to sort of recovering from a sickness bug to get back into the swing of things going into then the following week which was just last week now was a, a, a biggish week so 12 hour week which i completed um 11 and a half hours of it it was all green in terms of making sure the sessions were done so if you use training piece as long as you complete 80 percent of the planned workout time it'll go green so although that's not something i try and just hit 80 percent always try and do the 100 percent but sometimes you know other commitments get in the way but as you'll see from each week now you can see my fitness going up quite nicely like i said in the beginning don't focus too much on that well i certainly don't but you can also see the sort of the fatigue and the form varies as well so depending on the recovery weeks it brings that right down again and then when it's a harder week that ramps up so now going into this week so really starting the build phase now it's monday and this is when the the, the video has been recorded so monday the 3rd of january i'm starting the build phase i've done one of two workouts today so i've, I've got to do a swim later uh, i've done a speed workout on the run and this week is relatively tough as well so now we're going back into the 12 or over 12 hours of training so it's ramping up quite nicely next week it'll go up to 12 and a half hours and it just keeps um going up slowly i will have a recovery week in there as well but eventually towards the end of january we're going to be hitting just over 13 hour weeks slowly again building up to 14 hour um weeks as well so that's the plan so what have i thought of the program so far it's it seems to be going really well uh, i've got a lot of experience in managing my injuries um well i think anyway so you know, I'm listening to my body a lot more now, but the, the overall program, it, it's not significantly different to any other program I've done with a coach. Uh, the workouts obviously vary, but you know, it's, it's always seems to be, it's three swims, uh, three runs and four bikes. I'm, it seems on this program, which is very different to any other, where on a Saturday, I normally do a big ride, uh, which is the same as on this one. But then on the Sunday, I seem to be doing sort of, when I say medium ride, it's an hour and a half to two hour on the bike and then going straight off to a run. So I've got brick sessions really early on, which I haven't been used to in um, other programs, sort of closer to, to the race, we'll start doing them. But certainly also they, they aren't as long the, um, this early on. So this Sunday, as in yesterday, I did an hour and a half on the bike and a 45 minute run. This Sunday as well, I've got another, I think it's an hour 45 on the bike and 45 minute run again. So it seems to be a, the bike sessions a lot longer, which is great for me because that's really where I want to improve. And that's really where I think you'll get most of the gains on. That's certainly my opinion anyway. And this year or last year, rather, my bike had come a long way, but and that was due to me spending a lot more time on the bike. So I'm really looking forward to this, seeing the results because like I say, there's been a lot more bike sessions in this. Not necessarily tough sessions. A lot of it's in up to now anyway, it's all been zone two. So just, you know, really just turning the pedals, but that all adds to the endurance. So I'm, I'm like I say, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll keep you updated on it. Hopefully that's helped. Uh, as of now, would I recommend it? Definitely yes. And like I said in the very beginning, when I decided to do to do this, not in the beginning of this video, another video was, you know, financially, this is a lot cheaper than having a coach. What this 24 week program cost me was less than what a month with a coach would cost me. So only time would tell the first race is in May. So we're not that far away. And hopefully uh, I'll be able to give you a comparison of what that looked like because I've done this race before. So it's Outlaw Nottingham. I did it la uh, last year. This will be the second year I'm doing it. So same course, different um, training program, uh, and we'll, we'll be able to see like for like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.